So welcome to this video. So today what we're going to be doing is we're going to be learning about functions in Python. Uh, what we're going to be doing is first I'll be showing you some of the uh, pre-built functions in Python and then I'll be showing you how to create your own function in Python. So we're going to start with saying what if, what is a function and a function is basically just a program that is basically just a set of instructions um, like any other program but it just it's your program that's used within a pro within your programs to make your life easier basically. So, uh, that's not a very good explanation, but I'm going to show you one of the uh, built-in Python functions. And um, so the function I'm going to be showing you does the same thing as, um, well, like powers. So, for example, 3 to the power 4, you do like this. It gives us 81. So, the way we do this with a function is we just type in pow, two parentheses, and in between the parentheses we put two parameters. The first one's the number we want to, um, the first one in this case will be the three, and the second parameter will be the four. So the first one is what the number you're starting with, <clears throat> and then the second parameter is how many times you want to multiply it by itself, or um, how many times you want to, uh, like the power basically. That was bad. Uh, and then we just type in print the start text, you print the result. So now if we hit enter, we get 81. So that's pretty boring because that's this, why couldn't we just do this? Well, we could have, but there's a function for it as well. So to make this more interesting, I'm going to show you how to make your own functions. So in here, I've just created a new empty Python file and I'm going to uh, create a function. So in PHP, if you're familiar with it, you'll know to create a function. You type in the word function, then the name of your function then two parentheses, and in the parentheses any parameters your function would require, and then two curly braces. And this is how you create a function in PHP. But in Python it's slightly different. So in Python, to create a function you have to define it, and defining and creating a function are the same thing. So instead of typing in function, like in PHP, we just type in def, which means define, and then we type in the name of our function. So in this case I'll type in my function two parentheses and in PHP you use two uh, curly braces to uh, tell PHP when you're uh, when you're writing the code for your actual function and when you want it to stop which is what uh, what this parent or, uh, uh, curly brace does but in Python you don't use curly braces it uses indentation so uh, you just use a colon to tell it that what comes after this is going to be what's in your function and then when you hit enter it's automatically indented it for us which tells python that this is the same as b as if it was in php it would be between two curly braces and the way you uh, finish your function so if you want to write something after you define your function you just hit enter and you delete the indent so python will know that when you type in print and then something hello i mean it will know your function isn't just to print hello so um, what I'm going to do is I'll just well notice it's indented so this is um, me writing stuff for a function so I'm just going to say return hello so now I'm going to save it and then hit F5 or no way I actually have to run our function not just define it so now we've created our function we have to run it so I'm just going to say print my function and then notice um, this isn't indented and this is so th uh, that's how Python knows that I'm finished I'm finished my function because this is indented and this isn't but if this was in it indented it would think this is part of my function but I don't want it to be so it's not and notice how the color changed as well so that's sort of an indicator that it's not part of the function so I'm going to hit F5 and it should just say hello down here. So we've just run our, created our function, it says hello, but it's pretty bad because it doesn't take any parameters. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say print or a return. No, uh, it's, what this function is going to do is add two numbers together. So since add doesn't exist in the Python library, or I'll just call it my function, but what it's going to do is add two numbers together. So I'll say num1, num2. Then we're just going to say return num1 plus num2. 
and then uh, in our function now we've given we've uh, told it it takes two parameters we need to give it two parameters so I'll say three and four and now our function should give seven because it should add the two parameters together and we get seven uh, we can also do things like return uh, I don't know uh, hello comma and then we could just say name and we could change our function so it only takes one parameter and that's name so then down here all I do is give it my name for one parameter and now I should just say hello comma Francis and there it is so I hope you I hope you are uh, can you learn to speak uh, I hope you enjoyed this video it was quite short but um, to the point uh, we'll be doing more things on functions in the future and uh, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to my channel if you enjoyed it and I'll see you next time